We're back in uh, a little bit of hypnosis, Aurora, uh, cyberpunk land. Uh, Walter Frey over here is trying to reclaim his. Stop right wall. there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand really, over Walter? Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Ah. <laughs> We're being harassed. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I mean, I paid I'm going for to it. need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resource. Need me to kill him? Ma, huh? I can so do that. Men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. I'd rather just deal with them now if you'd let me. We hope me. you've enjoyed your time in the Astral Lounge. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. There's no uh ladies of the night here, but In fact, what's the deal with that? Doesn't really make sense to me. Oops, oops. Like this is the closest thing we get. It's party time. Get zoomed and have fun. Disturbance. Asa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? I'm stuck. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. My ship. There goes our way out. What? So much of this being easy, Walter. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. I'd rather kill a bunch of people Slayton than lose my ship. Slayton offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. How about we just see if I could kill... Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. I like flying around. It makes me big fun. Chaos. That's neon in a nutshell. Sometimes delightful. Sometimes bewildering, sometimes stressful. Look where the freak we are, man. Let's talk. When you have time, of course. Slayton has his own light. Hmm? Do you need something? Building. You kind of look like Sarah. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? <laughs> oh man, I really like want to do the attack route, but I feel like I'm supposed to kind of flow with Walter's way for a minute. But I swear, if they get sassy with me, you're all gonna die. I need an appointment. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a <sighs> very busy man. I really don't think she'd want to. Yeah, we have had a misunderstanding. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I don't think there's a problem. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. have one turn so it's like if I take the two I've already lost mine as well you know what he did oh yes I do remember overhearing something about that oh I think we can make an exception in your case oh. Mr. Slayton will see you just use the elevator kind of thought that maybe she would be willing to listen if I said that 
Slayton Aerospace. So how can they impound my ship? Like, do they own the port? I like how it makes music. What a pretty painting. Can I make a outpost like this? Like, what if I can make it look as cool? I still really want to try outpost. Wait. Outpost this building. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily countered. Oh. We're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. Isn't he listening? We got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? <laughs> I'm elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death. Anybody let's walking go. in here with my foot and a big boy, I ain't gonna live. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Uh, fine. They catch me, they're gonna die. Are they following me? Doesn't seem so. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Bots, bots, bots. I look like I'm ready to fist. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Emergency cuttable wall? This event above you. Ma. Just climb up. No big deal. What is that sound? Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Wait, you don't want me to like... Abandon my ship. Are you trying to get me to just run away? Head left. But don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hole. Which door? Oh. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now straight across to the door. I don't think Walter's going Keep the right way. All the way to the end. There was also a musical robot. Can this thing spot me? Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now. Let me just get that for you. Thanks. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Where is it? Oh. Huh? Okay. Yes. 
So just like right back down? Almost there. Draw on the right. What are they making? There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, right. After me. Heights and I have always had a really great relationship. And here's their little lightning and tractors. I've been up here many times. I thought I heard a grenade then. Just go. Your friend is dead. Now you are. I like to make them bleed out. I think it's nicer. Now is the best time. I know you need to talk with me, Barrett. <laughs> Motherfucker just don't care. I'm not gonna run away from you guys. I'm I'm genuinely trying to kill you too. I'm I'm the one, all right, the one that caught you. Hey. I also love collecting ammo. Let's go this way. Yep. It's so hard to run out of ammo with a shotgun. And every other gun, I feel like I'm running out of ammo so consistently. These guys are a little bit tankier than the normals. I haven't even been hit yet, though. They suck at aiming. Where'd the other one go? What the? Now that I know they're okay with fighting me. Dusty. Let's talk. Oh my gosh, Barrett, what? Sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? How can I help? I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. It wasn't a big deal. Well, it left a lasting impression on me, I suppose. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. And that's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. I trust in people, not organizations. That's Why would you just so calmly put your trust in people exactly how often do you get into jams Barrett exactly as often as I need to jams are just sticky successes right at first it seems sticky annoying successes. but it eventually washes off all right well I'm glad to be part of a team I guess uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days I could use cookies <laughs> They're one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. 
Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. I can flirt? Uh-uh. Thank you, Barrett. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Who's Irvin? Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant what? biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yes, he's gone now. <laughs> I, I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow, more brilliant than any star. Uh, I don't remember what. I guess it's impossible. That's right. I keep saying I guess because I don't remember what you're saying. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Well, why do you think it's suddenly back in your thoughts? Well... I'm enjoying my time adventuring with you, and it reminds me of Irvin in a way. We had so many adventures together, and then it suddenly stopped. Maybe part of my mind is trying to remind me of that. Well, I'm here for you. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time <laughs> for years. But maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Yeah, I don't really know why. Uh, we haven't hung out that long, Bert. It's been like a day or two. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> I'm gonna give you one chance. Release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Mm -mm. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. You wanna test that theory? Fine. What's a few more bodies? I said one more chance. Your confidence is admirable. I look forward to seeing if it's justified. Take freaking grenades. I've been waiting to fight them all day. And two are down. Why would you drop down here, Slayton? Old fashioned, huh? And you're done. Can I take over now? You don't need it now. Like, is this my building? My turn. This is what I love about games like. 
Bethesda, or Bethesda makes, because there's always a way to win, like outnumbered in other games, I feel like there's, jeez, like you have to wait until you're the proper level. How do I get my ship back? Where is this enemy? Damn it. Now we've got the real fun. Neon security is also going to be after us. Sure. I've got some time to kill. Customers are after me too? Maybe security will be. Oh, and Riley. Jeez, who made that sound? This isn't working. Really? Why do you think this was a good idea? You work the front desk and suddenly you're helping them? Oh, <laughs> Walter just punched oh, me. I love this part. I'm sorry, Riley. I don't think you want to die to Walter beating you up, though. That makes me feel bad, but you know, it's like you try and kill me, you're gonna die. Clear. <laughs> Who's screaming like Back that? Back to business. I feel like it's like the little Oh my gosh. Where'd he run off to? I haven't run anywhere, I'm just waiting. Go to the ship, okay. Where'd you come from? So the customers, they also take up arms. Everyone in Neon's got a gun, is that what they're trying to say? You're gonna bleed to death. Is that thing shooting? I really do want to just wipe the whole... Like, just wipe everything? Can't take it! Then why do you have a gun? Through, huh? You gonna bleed to death? <laughs> I'm not even trying to run away. Killed a bunch of people, customers, and whoever's a thousand times. Now to see if the security's got a problem. Nope. <laughs> Maniah Adams was looking for someone discreet for a job. Apparently, I don't qualify. Do I know Maniah oh, Adams. Who's got a Laredo gun? I'm not sure if those Varun zealots live in space. Everyone's pretty overweight. I want to hear the sound over here. No. Oh. Neon is really Keep your chill. Nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you. 
I'm not even listening to you. I think the security up in the front are the ones that are like the most standoffish, but I guess they're stopping the most people with Aurora in their pockets. My ship. I was worried they had it confiscated or confiscated like somebody else, somewhere else. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. Good day, Captain. Good day. Let's see what's out there. I'm doing an old history of constellation. <laughs> I read what he said before I left. Cold-blooded murder was a line I told myself I'd never cross. Do you really think we did the right thing back there? There was no other way. I wouldn't say that's all that matters, but if that's what they're gonna make me say. I can't argue with that. I'm just used to costs only being measured in money. Whenever I can help it. Walter, friend, if money was always the answer, then we'd just send credits instead of That's people. all I could say. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. Look. There's a reason this stuff is getting done. It's called M.E. So be grateful. It's very rude of the universe to not welcome you with fireworks when you arrive in no space. At a bare minute. A shooting star. I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. Identify yourselves. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Unworthy? Get right out of here with that nonsense. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. I really do want to know who they are. I guess this can tell us if they are human. We are growing impatient. Cease your attempts to stall for time. I'm not stalling. But you speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. Tell us more. The more you understand. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because Got that we must. order here. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Dude. It's only saying surrender the artifact or jump. So are they trying to say that I can't actually kill them no matter what? I'm full. I'm John W. You really want to risk a straight fight with an enemy we know nothing about? We need to regroup. Bide our time. We can wait no longer. Prepare yourself for oblivion. 
Oh my gosh, my stuff's not working. Pretty strong, we'll say. Come on. I don't think I'm damaging them. No, I am. Their shield's like really strong. Definitely a lot better ship than mine. I'm a better pilot. Need that shield back up. Get that shield down, freaking strong. Twist. You should have surrendered the artifact when you had the chance. You can turn so easily, man. supposed to be an alien life form. You're getting bodied. I just had your level. More repairs. Shields down. On this one. Alien motherfuckers! Sweating so hard. You should have surrendered the artifact when you had the chance. Mm. No, no, no. Collapsed. Oh my gosh. I was not supposed to win that fight. At the launch immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Dude, I was not supposed to win that fight. Freaking cowards left. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. Right. Back to the lodge first, then review the data second. And then we'll consider the ultimate mysteries of the universe right after that. <laughs> no pressure. I am unmatched in one on ones, baby. Don't mess with a John W.
It always feels like I'm on some sort of vacation when I'm here. We could get food at a restaurant like fancy people if you want. Your lips. You know, I actually would like getting dinner while we're out here. That wouldn't be bad. Don't give me wrong ideas, Barrett. This place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. feel so happy right now with my performance. Who is that? How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. You guys better talk about the fact that I clapped them and they ran away like cowards. Is that, is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we, what the? Everyone, come take a look at this. I bet you it's made from what the artifacts made of or whatever, calamite. That's no faction, Mr. Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Uh, another house for room. I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? Mm. So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Uh... I think considering how I bent them over, maybe they're not aliens, but... The artifacts aren't human made, that's for sure. It does have merit because they were judging us like they knew way more than we did, though. I'm gonna say this. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. I did. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. Please let me gloat about what just happened. Oh. Get ready for a fight. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Sarah's gotta be in charge. But then she doesn't seem like she's in charge. I don't know. I'm wanting to take this helmet off, but I don't... No... If I can.
Because it's a full outfit. I'm not sure. This is just better than everything else, but... I don't like a lot of these things looking. I like the hats. I just think that he'd be caught dead instead of wearing that. This is something maybe he'd wear. Now that looks more like John. That's, <laughs> that is John right there. Huh? What a guy. What a Chad amongst Chads. Let's place this baby I know down. everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. Okay. Vladimir might have some more powers for us. More oxygen. That's pretty good. This is just better in every regard. But I like to sprint a lot, you know. That's why I think that's a better option. We have a skill point. So I saw that this can give us targeting controls. And this would probably make us way better when we're getting outnumbered. Because clearly, how we are. Second. We're fine, but. Part of the beam. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Ooh. This and that would be really good together. What is that? We need to get this. What level am I? I'm only level 19. Yo, Vlad. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was doing the tallies work in my head. Inventory on the station. Next supply run. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. I didn't get Starborn bullied. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The eye can help you find the artifacts. But I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Give me any data you have double check the safety and locks wherever you go okay exploration's dangerous even without some nefarious group trying to kill you go to shore on go to vault vault i think it's time though that maybe we take a second and um go back to the free star We haven't done this in a while and I want to so let's get going I want to wear boots like if there's a way I could put some cowboy boots on and a hat I'd be very happy and I already checked out the store here when I was out you know I shopping He really wanted to tell somebody that. Uh, I beat an alien spaceship in a one-on-one, -on -one and they ran away. I'm gonna go and check out a restaurant, maybe. And 
see if I can shop a little bit more for new clothing. See, there's a clothing right here. Please let me know if I may assist you. I think I've you been won't here. find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. Well, let's see what you let's got. Let's find you something that you love. Apparel. Very new age. Nothing, basically, that I'd want. What a shame. I'm not sure I really get sure. fashion. No, I get fashion, don't you worry. It's not new Atlantis fashion. Fucking Hunger Games type of fashion. And look at these people. Where's the cloaks? I want to see like a show. Because I thought that there were shows they were doing at a theater or something. Fish? Jeez, the FPS here is always so, like, iffy. I don't even know how a PlayStation probably handles this. I think I'm gonna be a lot happier doing these missions without Sam following me. Hey, you want to help me move those guns? Where are the living quarters here? It feels like only maybe up there, up there. That big place to live. The moth to your flame. I've been liking Something having Barrett. Hey. You ready to head back out? Yes, yes, absolutely. You seem really Sarah. bored. Sarah. Sarah. Good to see you again, my dear friend. I expect to hear some exciting tales when you two return. I'll try, but I doubt any of them will compare to the spectacular tales that we hear you spin. Yeah, I feel good bringing her along now. I don't really... Unless we find somebody in the Freestar, but at the same time, we don't even really get along with most people. My ship is not doing too hot. Should I repair my ship? Nah. Now I just need to hope that we don't get ganked. Aim point reached, orbit stable. Just look how many places we could go. Level six.
75. It'd be kind of cool if we could find... where those people are coming from on our own. But the amount of places that we can go to is pretty much impossible. Specifically impossible. Pomerania. The Red Mile. I should probably scan every time I come to a place, but I don't know what that really does for me. Landing initiated. Watch the flaring. Please tell me you're not going to make us run the Red Mile. Hello. We can run the Red I am Mile? Satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. This feels kind of like alien vibes. What is the Red Mile? Was she just making a joke or like, I think she was making a joke. landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Now that we're here, I'm almost at a loss for words. Why? Get out of my face before I put a bullet in your head. Huh? Would you say? Punk. Dare to run in glory for your life? What is this place? Is it actually gonna be like a This looks so fun? Wait, don't shoot me! I didn't do anything wrong! Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, Stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up. When you have a go minute, outside and I'd come back in you. and start a new check. Okay. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. You thought it'd be a good idea to not pay your tab? What's yes? up? Yes. Thanks for taking time to chat. I. I really need a friendly ear right about now. You haven't seen me a bit I received depressed. a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Uh... Hope it isn't bad news. Not at all. It's just a list of requests, but when you read between the lines, it's obvious my absence is causing issues. Uh, are you upset that I'm keeping you away from the lodge? You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Hmm...
Well, what exactly was the Navigator Corps? It was a branch of the United Colonies Navy, a small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. Well, I'd say eight years isn't a bad run for anything government related. Had we notched some significant achievements, I'd agree with you. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. I don't think she accepted all of the blame. Um, we've heard about the war before. Sounds like impossible odds. <laughs> yeah? You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Ah, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shattered division and a bunch of excuses. Uh, why is it giving me all things I don't want to say? No matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you can't win. Nonsense, no one would have pushed harder than you. It's obvious the military wasn't your calling. Your division never had a sing. I would say that it wasn't our calling. <sighs> That's just it, though. This was as far from the military as you could get. Ships built for exploration, not war. And I still screwed it all up. So you're taking it as a sign of things to come? Yes. Maybe. Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. Obviously, she's afraid. I would say resign and explore, but I think she's looking for recognition, not advice. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. We'll figure this out together, man. I mean, if you're gonna travel along with me, like, we can handle this. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand, once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. I'll always be here for you, Sarah. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just, I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you. Oh. It's me. I'm just not ready to get that close I can't not now but thank you for being there and listening it helped it really did I have something I need to discuss with you I'm quite sure we just discussed it I just got put down in a fiery flaming bowl of potato chips barbecue chips red flappers and shield walls Basically, my heart's broken and I want to cry, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, peace out, everybody.